Gotta catch them all. Gotta, gotta catch, catch them all. all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. How's everybody doing? Pokemon. Pokemans. Uh, hey, everybody. Hope we sound okay. I did very minimal testing before hopping into this. Welcome to a special TV and D edition of the Stupid Sexy Pinball Club, um, which we're here because this is this is TV and D game night. And all of us were like, oh, we're kind of tired. I'm like, ah, oh, we were going to do our pinball stream anyway. I'll just do it on here. <laughs> yes, hello. Little, A little peek behind the curtain. <laughs> I've never been on this channel before. Well, yeah, the, Emily, this is your first time on this channel. Hi. I got to get, I got to get back in the hat or get out of the habit of, I do a lot of like hand gestures of like, cool, good. But I do this a lot and I don't, I White supremacists ruin that. I, I, white supremacy is bad. It is, in fact. It is quite bad. Um, I didn't mean to do the thing. I, you know, I think most reasonable people know that it's not. Yeah. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon pinball. Pokemon pinball is good. Um, this is the loudest motherfucking thing in my ear. Uh oh, I can't hear it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna I be real. To Sounds it. not that it's important. Fine. Um, I don't need to hear it. I can take off my headphones. I don't care. Yeah, it's all good. It's all whatever. Um, Emily, have you played Pokemon Pinball? No. It's like pinball, uh, but it's on the Game Boy Color, and uh, it's you catch Pokemon. I did not have a Game Boy Color. I had a Game Boy Advance. Okay. I did not have a Game Boy Color. Uh, who's in the chat right now? We got Weather or No. We got Gavin Watches. We got Alex La Alex Latte. Alex Latte. I don't know. Hell yeah. Hello. Should we play the red table or the blue table? Blue. Uh, I'm on a little bit of a Pokemon kick. Yeah. You um, got back into, uh, sword. Yeah, I did. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, I can't hear shit. I'm just taking these off. They're cute, though. Um, I'm just gonna take mine off, too, because you know what? It's not that important. <laughs> um, I assume most people played this game without any sound in the back of a car. It is. Alex Latte has confirmed that it is, in fact, a coffee thing. Wonderful. Um, Alex loves the bean juice. Loves the bean juice. Um, yeah, I'm back. I'm playing Sword and Shield again, which I played for a bit when it came out, and I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Um, which was also it was a mix of like, let's be real. I think most people will admit it's not a great. They, they didn't nail it. Um, but um, Gavin was, watches us if you've been playing the DLC. I, I have two badges and like three Wudos. <laughs> Pseudo Wudos. I got a bell sprout. Mm. Uh, so no, I am nowhere. I, I have been asked that before. I'm like, yeah, I got back into it. Oh, you played the DLC? No. no. I played a gym and went, this game's boring and stopped <laughs> playing it. Um, but I'm having some fun with it now. I'm getting into like some of the things that frustrated me at first still annoy me. Um, but the gameplay loop is getting fun. The, the other problem was I was playing um, uh, Dragon Quest XI at the same time, uh, which had also recently come out for Switch, and uh, that game basically kind of perfected the JRPG, uh, the modern JRPG. And every time I booted up Pokemon, it was like I'd rather just be playing Dragon Quest. Um, but now that I've beaten the... The fuck out of Dragon Quest, and there is nothing left for me to do in that video game. Um, I'm having some fun with. I still think I like Pokemon Let's Go better. Pokemon Let's Go is very good. Uh, Alex says, I heard there will be a remake of Silver and Gold for Switch and can't wait. Interesting. I don't know if I buy that. I'm gonna throw that out there. Already got well, it could get let's go. Yeah. That I'd buy. Let's go is great. I could see them doing that. Right, you know, they already remade gold and silver. You know, it's like I don't see them doing another like fire red leaf green with it, or heart gold soul silver. 
but it could get Let's Goed. I haven't played most of the Pokemon games. Yeah, I haven't either. I played, I think, Pokemon Yellow on my cousin's Game Boy. My cousins had a Game Boy before I did. Um, and I never played any Pokemon on my own Game Boy. I was more of a Mario gal. Um, this is like only my third time playing, not including the, uh, test <laughs> before we started streaming, and, um, I have no idea how I'm doing. <laughs> Our dog has gotten my switch cover. Maybe throw him in his crate for now. Mike. Um, I will say, people who are familiar with our um, pinball stream may have been expecting Bob's Burgers, which we've been talking a big game about. We play a different pinball table every month, um, and uh, we were hyping up Bob's Burgers, but then we lost a Tuesday because of the election, um, and then we're going to lose another one around Thanksgiving. Um, and I was just like, ah, let's just... And I'm kind of on a Pokemon kick, so I was just like, let's just fight. And we're not on our regular channel. A lot of factors came in. Well, let's just play. Let's still play pinball, but let's play Pokemon pinball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, uh... The Tuesday before Thanksgiving is my birthday, and I love y'all, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I did TV and D on my birthday. You sure did. I sure did. I asked Brian, I said, I will make you anything you want for dinner. And he said, I want pizza. Love pizza. So we ordered pizza. Let's get, get Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Did I get an extra ball? God fucking damn it. What is happening? How do you have so many balls? I don't, I think it's ball saving, but I don't know why. This might be a mode? You. It seems to have a timer counting down at the top. Hmm, yes. Perhaps is it some sort of... And I appear to be doing something to reveal this Goldeen? I do not know what I am doing. <laughs> Gavin Watch just says, so how does this game work? Good question. Good question. We're figuring it out together. Um, I do know that it's pinball, <laughs> and you want to get a high score by hitting the ball on two things. Um, there is a... All right, here we go again. <clears throat> um, there is a mechanic of, like, as you can see, a Pokemon will appear, and you have to hit it enough times to spell catch, and then you will catch the Pokemon. I believe the long-term goal of the game is to catch all of the Pokemon. To catch them all. Those save in between plays. So, like. Oh. There you go, baby. I got a Goldeen. No idea how this game works. Fuck. End of ball bonus. <laughs> he mad. Okay, top score on the table. It's 500 million. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Okay, so this is the left flipper, A is the right flipper. Because it's like a Game Boy. <laughs> Wait, which is the left flipper? This one. This one and this one. Okay. Who do you think is the best Pokemon? Cubone. Q oh, right. Cubone is good. The most metal Pokemon, for sure. Yes. I'm a big Grookey fan lately. I love Grookey. I love my Grook. Love Grookey. I regret evolving him in Sword and Shield. 
No, I love... He's a himbo. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, he's not yet. I named mine. mine himbo. Gotcha. I was preparing for it. I named mine Yoda. I kind of regret that. Baby Yoda? No, Baby Yoda wasn't a thing yet. Oh, yeah? I suppose that's true. Um, we've also been playing some of the, um, the Pokemon trading card game, which I think has always been my favorite Pokemon form of media. Um, it's a good game. We got the Battle Academy. Yeah, set. I got a Krabby. Uh, so the object of the game on that board is to go down each ramp three times. That changes the arrow in the middle left or right. Going, uh, closer activates catch mode. Going the slow bro activates evolution mode. Okay, thank you for the heads up. Gotcha, that makes sense. We got our indicators here of the lanes. Got it. Got it. What happens when I hit peak? Sometimes I think you'll save your ball. But not always. Apparently not. Okay. okay. What happens with Psyduck? Um... He's got a counter there, so three times I bet you find out. Um, also, you need to spin the spinner to fill the electricity bar for the <laughs> Cloyster Slowbro to activate. Okay, good to know. I did not have this as a kid, but I definitely would have played the living fuck out of it. Yeah, I played a lot of um, Space Cadet Pinball. Yeah. On the PC in my parents' bedroom. Did everyone have that? The PC was actually in my bedroom growing oh, up. Oh, yeah, you told me that. Which um, was great for my pornography consumption. <laughs> uh, awkward for everybody else's. By the time I was watching porn, I had a laptop of my own. I remember my mom asking me if I wanted to go on the internet. And I went, yes. <laughs> so my mom signed me on to America Online. And she told me, hey, just a warning. See you doing anything, I see anything on there. You're not supposed to be on. It's over. <laughs> You're done. No problem. Had no intention. I'm a good little Catholic boy. No intention. First fucking thing I tell you. I'm like, I'm a big, uh, eighth or like seventh grade Mad Magazine fan. I type in mad.com, which was not a website for Mad Magazine. It was a website for pornography. And I went, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> These are boobs. And I'm into it. So did, did your mom see it? No. Oh, I, okay. Okay. This oh, is how hello. I evolve my friend. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now we're playing with Pokemon. To get Pikachu to activate, you need to spell, uh, by like getting through each section on the bottom. Got it. Pokemon's tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired, Pokemon. Be evolved. <laughs> Does everyone have a favorite Pokemon game? Like an absolute, and it could be a spinoff. Um, I 
think mine as not <laughs> as a big f you know as a, as a big a fan of the ooh hello hello yeah as a liker of the franchise um as much as anybody else uh but not a huge gamer guy i still think red and blue are my favorites uh. um and then the trading card game for the game boy color I see amiability saying Pokemon Stadium. Good pick. I think probably Pokemon Yellow, just because that was the one that I played. That's the only one that I played as a child, and then um, did not play another Pokemon game until Pokemon Moon. Um, I was more of a Pokemon television show gal. Sure. Um, I... was also more into the TV show and the cards. I was kind of like over Pokemon when I got the game for the first time. Um, my Uncle Jim got it for me for my birthday. Um, I was a little over it, but I still played the fuck out of it because it's a pretty good game. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with these ramps. I do a shuffle there. The physics are a little wonkier than what we're used to. <laughs> um, Cause hey, it's a Game Boy Color game. Who are you? Let's get Pokemon. Who is that? Who's that Pokemon? Uh, who is oh that shit! Pokemon? Don't let that Pokemon get away. Some, I'm sure it's gonna be obvious and not that exciting. But who's that Pokemon? Oh, is that a... That is a Spearow. Oh, that's a Spearow. Alright, well, that's not generally what I... The angle that I look at Spearow from. Um... I... My scalp is fucked up. <laughs> oh? Yeah. I don't know, it hurts. Just right here. Just a patch of my scalp hurts. <laughs> Falling apart. I do not know what to do during this mode. If it appears, I have to hit those cloisters. <laughs> ah, fucking shit. Oh, this is a hurry up mode. Spiro! Spiro! Come on. Catch -a the Pokemon. Well, this isn't even to catch the Pokemon. This is just to find the Pokemon. Pokemon! I choose Pokemon. Who's your favorite um, starter of the three? And I'm sure we've talked about it before over the years, but of, of the, the of the yeah, um, Charmander. Really not Pikachu with the yellow. You said of the three. I did say of the three. You just should have known that was a secret for the answer. I still think Charmander. Interesting. I think I had a natural reluctance to Charmander because that was everyone's favorite. He's great. And I get it. I get it now. It's fine. Um, from the TV show, though, it's got to be the cool Squirtle. Squirtle Squad? Squirtle Squad. I want some of those rad sunglasses that the Squirtle Squad had. I'm sure... I feel like next Halloween, we maybe have to be the Squirtle Squad. Yes. We'll dress up the dog. Yeah. Played the crap out of red on the road trip to Mexico when I was a kid. I remember using the street lights to play at night as we drive. Yeah, because that thing wasn't fucking backlit. And like, we didn't know it was that bad. This is just how Game Boys I were. I know. I had one of those, um... I know a lot of people had like the spirally light. I didn't. I had one that, like flipped up um so basically turned my game boy advance into like one of those razor phones gotcha i had the worm light i had a color and a game boy advance well look at you um but i don't know i don't think i actually had a light for the game boy advance i think i just sucked it up It's 
kind of like it's don't get me wrong i love my switch and i love my switch Lite specifically it's not the same yeah I was it's not the thinking, same like there's not really a handheld right and like the switch light is is it um but yeah it's not the same it's not this and like there are little indie games that would be the Arrived at Mount Moon, baby! Here we go. We're at Mount Moon. Time to get a Pokemon. If I can get up a fucking ramp. I'm gonna blame the physics, not my ability to play this <laughs> game based on a children's property. Here we go, there's one. It might be my game. I did pretty bad. Pretty bad. This is fun, though. It's good! Like, yeah, I would have gone apeshit on this when I was a kid. The original Game Boy just barely fit in my cargo shorts as a kid. <laughs> um, I, I, um, just recently, I was working at, oh, fuck, that's fine. Um, I was working at Polygon, and I just started a job at Vulture, um, and they want me to, you know, help a little with video game coverage, um, coming from Polygon. What if I just came in and was like, we gotta cover Pokemon Pinball. Listen to me. Picture this. It's 2001. 9-11 <laughs> <-11 laughs> just fucking happened. <laughs> I don't know if this was 2001. Shit, now I just want to play Pokemon Red and Blue again. Just play Let's Go. It's not the same. It's good, though. It is good, but, like, the original one ha kind of has just, like, this Dragon quest -y zen to it that I really like. Maybe I'll play Yellow. I'll charge up the 3DS. <laughs> Pokemon Pinball 2, Pokemon Pinball 1. Oh, uh, there is, oh, okay, now I'm following. There is a sequel to this game. There is a Game Boy Advance Pokemon Pinball. Uh -huh. uh, based on Ruby and Sapphire. I think if anyone is a fan of our, or <laughs> fan of, if anyone watches our pinball stream on Tuesdays, um, we, um, I think Pokemon Pinball might become our, the month is a fucked yeah. thing. We'll probably like, do this next week. Yeah, because November is a little shot. Um, but this is a delightful game. <laughs> delightful. It was, but I didn't even, um, didn't even register to me. I was like, oh, we're not streaming on Tuesday. <laughs> Just like, oh, let's see if democracy is Right, saved. yeah, God, I, yeah, I didn't even think to be like, we're not streaming tonight. No. <laughs> Not that we uh, have a definitive answer there anyway. <laughs> well, the thing is, we, we do. We do. But will it. I already had a Krabby. Well, now you have a hundred Krabbies. Um, as an adult now, I have the desire to get all of the consoles for every Pokemon game, and it seems like it would be a great game for Thanksgiving or Christmas gatherings. Ooh, that's a good point. Shit, I think I'm starting a new Pokemon run tonight. I think I'm doing that. Oh, I'm gonna. Help me out, Pika? Yeah, uh, you are. Mikey and Janie is raiding with a party of 15. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, that was very nice. Thank you for the raid. Um... We're playing Pokemon Pinball. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> uh, Emily and I normally play pinball on uh, Tuesday nights before TV and D game night. But there's no TV and D. Well, this is TV and D game this night. Is it. It's just on. I don't have words now. Um, it's here. It's here. It's usually there. 
How's, uh, how's everybody doing? Um, okay. Okay. I'm trying to think of fun Pokemon questions. Damn, that sucked. What is it? Okay, here's one. What is a licensed Pokemon spinoff that never happened that, like, would be good? Huh? Okay. I'm trying to think, like, okay, so there's Pokemon Pinball. There's yeah. a trading card game. Yeah. Is there a game... Oh, I see. ...or activity that would be... Uh... <laughs> Your emulator's making the sound weird. Pikachu's supposed to make a nice screech <laughs> Pikachu screaming. Um... Oh, well. Emulation, baby. Um, but yeah, is there a... Hmm game or activity that did not get a Pokemon license. There is a game called, Ex is it Exploding Unicorn? No, it's um, Unstable, Unstable Unicorns. Unicorns. That would be good. Which is a very pleasant game uh, that I enjoy. Uh, but, what is this Pokemon? It would be great if it was with Pokemon. I th it kinda would be perfect. Fuck off, fuck off forever. Who is this Pokemon? Is it a Snorlax? It looks like it could be, right? It's a fucking no. get out of here, drowsy you fucking piece of shit. We should do a Pokemon TV and D. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the that ears are too pointy to be. Oh, it's got pointy ears. Not pointy. Come on, come on. I didn't hit a pointy. I was drifting around in there. I didn't hit a single fucking one. <laughs> You're asking for games, we would like eat games, activities. It's a really half-baked question, I'll be honest. <laughs> Shit, if I had this on Switch, I'd play it often. <laughs> this is like a good video game. There's a uh, Dorkly video that ends with uh, Caldwell. I'm like, you know, I don't care what they say. I think Pokemon is pretty cool. <laughs> I often say that in my head sometimes. <laughs> cool story. 30 second ball saver. Oh, baby. That's a good bonus if I suck, which I do. <laughs> I, I I also think a um, ball saves because I suck. Um, I would love a like licensed Pokemon table on like Pinball FX three. Um, was Pokemon ever like banned from your school? Not that I know of. When I was in elementary school, it was kind of past the trading card prime. Interesting. Because that's what was banned, right? Right. Right. No, I don't know if it was just I wasn't involved in it, so I didn't know, but I think it was kind of... I know my, my cousins had trading card had, like, the binder. Yeah. With their cards. Um... I know a couple people had those, but we never had the cards. Why did the binder take off? I don't know. Because, like, it wasn't, because it was a, a lot of kids didn't play the game. Yeah. They just wanted to collect, the, like, baseball cards. Yeah. Um, and baseball cards I've never quite understood. Yeah, it was, I, I guess I knew it was a trading card game, but all of my experience with it was with people who had the binders of cards. Right. Um, we played the game. Um, not well, but... I never played Pokemon TCG, but I did have a Harry Potter trading card game that was fun. I'm not familiar with it. I don't think it was big, but we liked it. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. I assume, I mean, it makes sense that they would try it to get a Harry Potter yeah. game going. Uh, it was created by Wizards of the Coast in 2001. That makes sense. makes sense. This all makes sense. Why wouldn't they go for it? Yeah. It was fun. At one point, the game was the second best-selling toy in the United States. I've never heard of it. Interesting. Because this would have been at the height of, like... I mean, I was pretty much Pokemon straight into Magic the Gathering, I guess. Yeah, it was fun. I huh. liked it. I don't know if it had the same... I mean, I assume... I wasn't into the, like, collecting, like, getting booster sets and, and seeing what cards I got. Yeah. I just liked the game. <laughs> I mean, that's how I am now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I actually, like, I quite like the Pokemon card game. Yeah. And I got, at Family Dollar, they have little booster packs, and I was like, ooh, and I grabbed one. I was like, this is not the same. <laughs> Fuck. Gavin Watches says, we played with the cards, but not actually the TCG. Whether or no says, I'm not ashamed to say I had the binder. Never be ashamed. I mean, I think I did too, but the, all the kids had the binder. Um... Who rules says, ah, oh, wizards, where games go to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, oh, as a Dungeons and Dragons fan, that is very <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, you gotta get Eevee. Appears like I won't. Oh, wait, no, okay. This timed mode is. I guess it's not fair to say Dungeons and Dragons it philosophically went to die. <laughs> Did not. It's more popular now than it ever was. <laughs> Very popular. Okay. I do love Eevee. Give me that Eevee. Metal Pokemon cards, gold metal card. I do remember that. I don't remember that. I remember the foil cards. No, there's a the hologram is what we call them. Holographic. I could be misremembering, but I feel like there was like a. It was either like a Happy Meal or like a... There was a... I believe it was Burger King had the yeah. Pokemon toys. And that came with a golden... Co oh my god, I remember like... Remember? There were... That and... Um, I remember when McDonald's had Beanie Babies. Mm -hmm. That was a... Why did everyone go fucking apeshit over Beanie Babies? Okay, here comes my question. Here it comes. Beanie Babies. Hugely popular. Yeah. Would we, as adults right now, if Beanie Babies happened, would we know about them? Probably yes, because there would be, like, news stories about people going bankrupt buying Beanie Babies. I guess so. Um, and also, I mean, in my now blessedly former life as a commerce writer. Um, I got a lot of toy pitches. Um, so they would be like vaguely on my radar. Like the Hatchimals thing was big. I have heard the name Hatchimal. I do not, how, I don't know how to, oh, there we go. Well, do it now. <laughs> Hatchimals are, are little, they're stuffed animals that come in an, an, an egg that you open. I haven't been keeping track of my score. I can't tell if I'm nailing it. Uh, the ones that came in the plastic Pokeball. I remember that was like more exciting to me than the toy was the plastic Pokeball. <laughs> um, 
Because that was something you could use to, like, play Pokemon with. Right. You know? I had cards that were special edition for a tournament my cousin uh, went to, and it felt like no one could touch me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also remember... Um, Uh, when the movie came out, it's Pikachu. It's Pikachu! When the movie came out, they had, like, promotional Mew cards. Uh, and, uh, it was specifically under the rarity, like, there was, what was it, circle was common, square was uncommon, and then stars were rare. Oh, I didn't remember uh, that. Yeah. Um... And uh, the Mew had promo. And I remember asking my friend Patrick, uh, what's promo mean? It's like, uh, really, really rare. <laughs> <laughs> we watched the movie recently. I, I had never seen it. We watched it high. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember. It's this. a... Cr it's... I was, like, kind of under the impression it was, like, sort of a good movie. It's not. It's insane. I have no memory of this. How do I get that Pika? Look at him. Something looks wrong with him. I'm gonna say that. He don't look great. He don't look good. His proportions are off. Why can't I hit this fucking Pikachu? There he goes. You could pay for a full college education if your Pokemon collection was good enough nowadays. For somebody? Yeah, maybe. Like, uh, legitimately. God, I remember, um, you know, the summer of, like, fucking Pokemania. Um, you know, the cards were it. Um, and it was my brother's birthday. Um, and, um, my mom, I'm in the car, I'm in the front seat of the car, uh, and my mom pulls out of a bag, like, the, um, uh, a deck like one of the pre-built decks uh and just it's just like is this are these it <laughs> i don't know what the fuck i'm looking for is this it and it was literally like she pulled out a gold nugget that meant nothing to her and i was like because <gasps> <laughs> we didn't have any at the time um and we're just like yes I remember also being a little shit, um, who, like, everyone was, when everyone was getting into Pokemon, my initial reaction was, it's stupid. Yeah. Um, and then I probably watched the cartoon and was like, I don't know if it was an immediate revelation, it was just like, hell yeah. <laughs> The originals and the misprints go for a lot. I remember, oh man, there were a lot of like pirated cards. Um, like, and that was the thing as kids, we had like Hawkeyes for whether the cards were real or not. You could get like, they would fake ones at like the mall. Um, there would be like mall kiosks, like bullshit cards. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. There was like a huge market for those, I think. Interesting. I don't care about you fucking pigeon. <sighs> uh, let's see, ninety thousand dollars for one original card sold in two thousand. Wow, what card? Shit, I my cousins still have theirs. Yeah, right. I mean, that's that's why they're valuable. Most people don't. <laughs> right. It's so 
also, you just don't know. No. Like my my um, great aunt was also a Beanie Baby collector, and like those are not worth what people thought they were gonna be worth. No. Um, it's so. I mean, it's only like. But there were like rare Beanie Babies to collect. Right. I had one. Oh. 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 I mean, Pikachu, right? Pikachu. Find items. Aw. The number one trainer card. Interesting. Oh, that's a fun, um... Pokemon question. Like, who's your favorite NPC? Oh, that's a good one. Um, do you have an answer? I mean, probably Team Rocket. Okay. Um, Professor Oak is definitely trying to fuck Ash's mom, right? Yeah. And or Red's mom. Although, man, the, um, the rival from Sword and Shield, Hop, Fucking heartbreaking, man. What a goon. He just wants to be good at Pokemon. And I keep fucking destroying him <laughs> at Pokemon. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There you go. Alright, you got a place to be. Uh, I'll give it like 15 more minutes. Unless you gotta go sooner. No, that's fine. Um, I'm doing outdoor drinks. Being responsible. No one yell at me. I think that's my best score so far. I also think that. You did... Like, initiate the evolving thing, which is pretty good. Want to try the red table? Sure. This one's different because it's red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friend Ditto. Where uh, where do you guys stand on naming Pokemon? Do you name your Pokemon or not? I used to be a no. Because they didn't in the cartoon. Now I'm a yes. Same deal, go up the ramps. Yeah, it's definitely follow the blinking stuff. Come on now. I need my team Pokemon only. Fair enough. Part 
me is wondering what, what would happen if I got really into shiny hunting. I don't really know. Are there shinies in the uh, Sword and Shield? Yes. Um. Like, because the game's not hard, that really seems to be, like, just kind of the big collector element of it. And, like, I kind of... Video games at this point, I'm really ultimately looking for something to do while I listen to audiobooks. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, shiny hunting, like, could... Sounds kind of like the perfect repetitive grindy <laughs> thing, you know? Sure. I mean, that's all video games for me, but I'm an animal. You are an animal. <laughs> I can't, I need to, I can't need to concentrate too much on the game. That Bulbasaur looked fucking freaky. What's up with you, Balby? What's up with you? <laughs> Eli named his Bulbasaur Garlic Doug, and that's a great Pokemon name. I named my Balby. Emily, where do you stand? You, so you're a, you're a Pokemon namer. Oh yeah, got to, got to, got to. Have you always been? Yeah. Interesting. I was just saying I wasn't, and now I am. I've always been a fucking sap. <laughs> I always, you know, they didn't name them on the cartoon so that you would learn the names of the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> um, for branding purposes. <laughs> um, it's truly, truly sinister to me that I can still like not off the top of my head but if you put one of the original 151 Pokemon in front of me I can tell you the name of that Pokemon you know yeah for um, the most part I think I could I don't think there's a single one I couldn't name um yeah and like the original yeah and like Shit, fuck. Do you name them based whether they are male or female? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes a good name's a good name. Yeah, I mean, like, Bulby can be a boy or a girl. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I'll name them, like... Alright, uh, you wanna take one more turn? Yeah. And then we'll get out of here? Yeah. You just have to beat 19,000. <laughs> uh, sociologists say humans are only capable of having relationships with uh, 90 to 120 people at a time. Pokemon are clearly more important. I agree with that. It is funny. They say your social group changes every seven, like, seven-ish years. Uh, that is, like, clockwork for me about when I find myself in a new social group. You know, which isn't to say I just drop friends, but, uh, you know. Things happen. You, things happen, you kind of move on from stuff. I mean, that's also true of, you know, like, seven-year itch in relationships. Sure. Is that what that means? Yeah. I've just said the phrase and I never... <laughs> yeah, it's the... You've been together for seven years and you start to be like... <laughs> Let me out. Um, so Emily, you're a big Sopranos fan, right? Yeah, it's great. It's a very good television show. Uh, well, we're playing a Sopranos-themed, uh, Dungeons and Dragons heard game. i about it. On Thursdays, here on TV and D. Um, who would you want to play in a, uh, Sopranos D&D &D game? I mean, Carmela Soprano is the best 
a that character is, on television. That is a fun one. She's the best character I've ever written. I love her so much. <laughs> I also think Dr. Malfoy would be funny. Who's that? The psychiatrist. Oh yeah, that is also very funny. I'm fucking tired. Yeah? Yeah. What is everyone playing on TV and D right now? Uh, let's see. Eli is uh, Tony. Uh, Tony is Christopher. <laughs> Uh, and Carolyn is Polly Walnuts. I could play Big Pussy. Who's that? I have not seen much of the show. The guy? I don't think he's... Yeah, he's definitely not showing up yet for you. This game, this Pokemon this game. Pinball. Uh, all right, gang, I know this was kind of a short, kind of breezy, kind of low energy one. Um, we're tired. We're tired. It is what it is. I it's, started it's, a new job yesterday. Also, democracy is crumbling. Democracy is crumbling. <laughs> um, but hopefully not for long. Um, and uh, I, I nearly cried laughing when I watched your game last week. I'm so glad. Uh, this is TV and D. Uh, this was our TV and D game night where we do things that aren't our show um if you like watching us play pinball uh we do that on tuesdays around this at this time at this time on our channel on our channel it's bremily um so you can join us there we're probably gonna do pokemon again uh and then december we'll do um bob's burgers we'll give that table it's full the full attention that it deserves uh come hang out thursday uh we'll be back with more the sopranos if you haven't watched the sopranos you'll be fine um and um let's see we take subscriptions now uh nobody has to but if you do that does make it easier to keep doing this and we appreciate that a whole lot um but also following is great Tomorrow's really, Veterans Day. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. Good night, everybody. <laughs>